This afternoon, the Mets face the Minnesota Twins in game two of a three-game series. On the mound, 35-year-old right-hander Kenta Maeda, who's three and seven with a 4.73 ERA. Brandon Nimmo steps in the box. Fly ball left field. Going back is Luplo. He's got no room. That one. A home run to the opposite field. Maeda can't believe it. Brandon Nimmo, his 23rd home run of the season. And just like that, the Mets strike first. It's one nothing. And this one, just the pitch that sat on the outside part, Brandon Nimmo has become awfully strong, not only the pull side, but Maeda was just shocked. Nimmo, 16 home runs last year, already up to 23 here in early September. Jeff McNeil will bat. We saw him lower in the order last night with a lefty pitching. McNeil bats left-handed. That one looped into left field. That'll dunk in for a base hit. So Jeff McNeil got a similar hit yesterday, and he's one for one today. Pete Alonzo last night went one for three with a double and a run scored. Popped up into right field. Matt Walner doesn't have to move too much. And he makes the grab for the first out of the inning. So that'll bring up Francisco Lindor. The one two popped up. Ryan Jeffers near the railing two away. Here's Daniel Vogel back back in the lineup for the first time since Sunday. There goes McNeil. The throw by Jeffers offline and not in time anyway. Jeff McNeil steals a bag. Lined up the middle base hit. Jeff McNeil rounds third base. He'll score easily. Daniel Vogel back. Another RBI and the Mets up 2 nothing. Well swing first by Vogelbach. Ball away and down. A pretty good pitch from Maeda. And after the aggressive base running and stolen base by McNeil, the plates run for the Mets. Lined in the air to right center field. Pretty deep. Castro on his horse into the gap. Makes the running catch. And that retires the side. An outstanding play in center field by Willie Castro. He's the big lefty. Dave Peterson. That hit him. Solano will hobble the first. So now Polanco. Driven to right and down for a hit. Polanco flips one to right. And the Twins start their half of the first inning with a hit batter and a single. Only two men on base this time for the designated hitter Royce Lewis. Well there's that slider. And did Lewis hold up? He didn't. But now you got to deal with Correa, who's been swinging the bat well. Behind him, you got Lupo, a guy who's hit lefties well historically. So it, there's some depth to this lineup that, when it's healthy, is very difficult to pitch to. The 0 2 from Peterson. Got him looking. Strike three called right on the outside corner. Correa not happy with the call, but three straight fastballs, and Correa takes a seat. The 0 2. Swung on it, missed strike three. Got him with the slider. So after allowing the first two runners to reach base, Peterson strikes out the next three. So one away, and it'll bring up Ryan Jeffers, the big catcher, and he is big. Crack to the right side, knocked down by Alonzo. Jeffers will get base hit here with one down on the second. So two men away, and the number nine hitter, Willie Castro, coming up. That's hit to the corner. And hard off the wall, Jeffers to third. Falling down is McNeil. They'll still hold. Jeffers, it looked like McNeil. Fell down in the corner. Castro cracking a double and hit to the outfield might tie the game. As we'll begin the second trip through the lineup with Donovan Solano batting with a chance to tie this game with a base hit. To left. Down for a hit. Jeffers will score and right behind him is Willie Castro. More two out hitting for the Minnesota Twins. And this team is so deep they just can do things that so many other offenses can. Comes through the two out hit that we're used to seeing now. We're starting to get accustomed to that. Two pitches, two outs for Peterson. Which means automatic fine for Jordan Luke Law if he swings the bat on the first pitch. Alonzo won't get that one. Luke Law with an opposite field hit. He's going to dig for second. Stewart's throw is not in time. Ooh. And Luke Law come up. I think the throw on the first hop hit him in the forehead. Uh, I think the helmet popped off and maybe on the slide he ran into Lindor. Got a little bit of a cut there it looks like. And we'll see if the Twins have yet another two out hit in the early innings. Into short center. Coming in Nemo won't get there. Rounding third and scoring is Luplo. 
Another big two out hit for the Twins, this time from Kyle Farmer. He gets jammed, but he hits it just soft enough to get it in front of the center fielder. But because he's able to put the ball in play, keep it out of the catcher's glove, Twins are able to score another run and now taking the lead. We were talking about those moments, those at bats earlier in the game that decide a good outing or a bad outing. And this is one of those moments right now with runners at the corners and one away. And the safety squeeze will result in an out. One of the few times it didn't work. Luplo came down the line with the third baseman, Beatty. But Jeffers fanned on the bunt. Ones will look at it and they won't challenge it. And now Alex Kirilov will hit for Solano. Kirilov takes down an in ball four. And it's going to fall to Royce Lewis, who is 0 for 3 as the DH today. That's to left center field. And down for a hit. And a rounding second and holding up is Kirilov. And the inning continues two on two out for Correa. Ball four and they're loaded up now for Kepler. A drive right center field back and off the top of the wall. Three runs will score Kepler to third. He has cleared the bases with a triple. That's the big hit the twins were waiting for. Exit for Drew Smith. Jeff Brigham another right hander is in. He's one and two on the year. That'll work. <laughs> Kepler scores from third, and Farmer has a double, and it's seven to two. A little second serve right down the right field line. And when it's going your way, things like this happen. Eighth inning here in Minneapolis. Twins with a five-run lead. Pete Alonso with a high fly ball, left field. No doubt about that one. Another monster shot for Alonzo here at Target Field. His 43rd home run of the season. And it's a 7 to 3 game. Just a moon shot. He loves hitting here as well. And that's with four out to play with. Trailing by four. And DJ Stewart will be next. And there's DJ Stewart flying one deep to right center field. And DJ Stewart again. Another home run. For DJ Stewart, whose magical run continues, the Mets now trail seven to four. And he's been one of the best reasons to watch the Mets this last month. So much power in that swing. Let's go the bat. That ball just would not come out of the air and ends up in the first row. One man away, and it'll bring up Will Castro. A high fly, right center field and deep. Willie Castro sends one to right and gone. Off the facing of the second deck, and the lead has grown to four. Well, we've seen it all year long. The Twins out of the ninth spot in the order hit as many home runs as anyone in baseball. Willie Castro having a great day. Three hits, triple shy of the cycle, just answering back. And it's an 8 4 ball game, and Dylan Floro will come in to try to make quick work of the Mets in the ninth. Got him! Floro makes quick work of the Mets, and the Twins pick up another win as their role in September continues.